Good morning, guys. It is a very cloudy day in the city. So uh, we're going to go check Target. It's pretty early in the morning. I have a late start, but we're going to go check and see if any of the new Black Series got stocked in. And we're also going to go grab some coffee because it is early in the morning. But figure we should go check. All right, let's go see. Just talked to an employee. They said they don't have them in just yet, but looks like they got some new wrestling stuff. Um, they said the new Star Wars things comes in on the 21st, so uh, yeah, no look there, guys. Let's see what they have. Here. Some of these. And we'll drop some. Let's take a look. We got it. Alrighty, guys. Sorry if that was a little choppy, but uh, got some good news for you. Take a look. Yo, homeboy at Target hooked it up you know i chatted with him for a second i just asked him you know politely of course you got to be polite to these employees and i just asked him like hey man do you have i heard you have the new marvel wave sets in stock and he said yeah you know let me check he's like yeah i don't see any street dates on these so you know go crazy and then he pulled out everything guys so of course you know i grabbed one of each but yeah let's get back to the apartment all right guys, there's no point in not cutting to the chase here, but look at this guys, we got the whole wave here. So I got to note that, you know, if you're lucky, you know, you'll find them at Walmarts, you know, definitely, cause that's where we found Cap. Check in the mornings, you know, if you can in your areas. Anyway guys, let's take a look at them real fast. My boxes are a little bit wet, but not a big deal. It was drizzling outside, but let's start off with our homeboy, Baron Zemo. Look at this guys, he is from the Falcon and Winter Soldier. He has a great head sculpt, just looking at it right here. Like, I think I got lucky with his paint app. Looks pretty fantastic. The mask as well, the mask version. He's got his gun and he's got his book. The book is, I believe, from uh, Civil War, where he reads the words, reads them off to control the Winter Soldier. But yeah, he's looking great. He comes with the wing piece side picture. Looking solid with the focus there. There we go, looking solid right here. Looking at the back here. Here you go, guys. Pause it if you want to read it. And he is piece number six. We got the Winter Soldier himself, Bucky Barnes. And I think he looks all right. I feel like his face might be a little bit hard to capture, you know, compared to like, you know, Sam Wilson and Zemo over here. But, you know, I think his likeliness is fine. The soldier himself looks pretty solid. Look at that, guys. I'm a huge fan. He's got the two different hands, too. He's, he's got a fist and he's got the open grip. And it doesn't look like he has any other accessories, but you know what? That's fine. Dude is so crazy, but there we go. Let's look at the side side picture and let's take a look at the back. Go ahead and read that if you're interested. Finish up the Falcon and Winter Soldier. We got the US agent. Man, what a character, guys. <laughs> this actor himself is fantastic because you hate him, right? And I feel like that's a good thing. When you are, you know, emotionally involved with a character like that, he's doing a great job. You know, I gotta say, I'm actually a really big fan of the US agent. You know, going into the show, didn't know too much about him, but been watching theories, been watching like people talk about him. I think he looks fantastic. And you know, that's a great alternative, you know, cap outfit. So let's take a look at the side. There we go, the actor himself. I think it looks pretty solid. I'm, I'm kind of glad they didn't put like an extra head sculpt. I think just having him with the mask is fine because I don't want to have too many pieces anyway. And let's take a look at the back. Here you go, guys. Back for all you interested. John F. Walker. Guys, we got low key from his own show. And I think that's coming out in the next few weeks. So really excited to hear that, you know, with Marvel, man, they've been doing such a good job with their shows, guys. If you're not subscribed to Disney Plus, I don't sponsor Disney Plus. Obviously I'm a tiny channel, but I'm a big fan of Marvel. So let's take a look at the side. We don't know too much about what's going on. You know, obviously it's an alternate universe. Well, this is the part of uh, Endgame where he is, you know, he's going through time. And so he's gonna be <laughs> the protagonist and I'm really interested in seeing it, but here you go. Take a look at the back. All right, so here we go with the next show on Disney Plus, WandaVision. And we got the white Vision. He looks great. This is just a, like, I'm not sure if this is a reuse of previous parts, but it doesn't matter to me. This is the first time I had him. He comes with the wings. He has fists, no accessories. Vision doesn't really need it. And I think this looks great. Let's take a look 
the side. Here we go. If you watch WandaVision, I think that show was fine. <laughs> it was okay. Not my favorite, but you know, it was it was good enough. Here you go. Take a look at the back. There you go, guys. Last but not least, guys, the one I was the most excited for, Wanda, the Scarlet Witch. This is the first time they actually recognized her as the Scarlet Witch in the MCU, but let's take a look. I think she looks pretty good. I think her face sculpt looks fantastic. I got lucky with the paint app on her face. Looks great. You know, the details are awesome. I'm going to use, I like the translucent hands here. I might be swapping those out, but man, what a great looking figure. This is awesome. There we go. Wanda on the side. And let's take a look at the back. Wanda Maximoff, guys. Real quick, just like our last video, let's take a quick peek at these figures. All right, guys, so we're going to make this quick. You know, nothing too complicated here. Here we go with Baron Zemo. He looks fantastic. I got him holding his accessory. His jacket's pretty neat. It's like a rubbery material. His face looks a lot better in person, I gotta say. I got him pointing. Yeah! He's got some decent leg articulation. Bending the knees. It's like double jointed knees. Arms. Looks like you could do a full 360. Head. Can't really, can't really do too much with his head. Doesn't look like there's too much articulation to look up. Let's switch his head sculpts his head right in looks fantastic all right and also here's his gun and his piece is one of the wings here's a quick look at his book his accessory he also comes with fists but I'm gonna keep those in there all right and here we go with Bucky Barnes the Winter Soldier first off let's take a look at his head sculpt looks pretty solid I would say it doesn't look too much like him but I think you know It'll pass for now. I think his arm looks great. His articulation is pretty solid. So I did notice that, you know, he has the, he definitely has the thigh swivel. He also has like this ankle swivel right here, which is interesting. And he also has, you know, here we go. Can bend his ankles pretty far back. Double knee joints can almost touch his butt. Boom. Details on his chest are pretty decent, I would say. I'd say the biggest thing that shines for him is his arm vibranium arm looks pretty good he's got you know the wrist swivel let's see yeah for his head you can't really do too much you can look up you can look down left right side slant slap slant at it chest crunch arm can do a 360 accessories are different hand types I'm not gonna pull those out overall I think he looks solid Winter Soldier comes with another wing piece here. All right, guys, let's take a quick gander at the US agent. I think his figure looks great. Looks like they used a Captain America mold. Could be slightly modified. I'd say it's pretty decent to the show. I haven't really looked picture to picture, but I would say overall, it's a good representation. We see a star in the front over here, <laughs> not in the middle. So he's got like a dark navy-ish color going on. I'd say the head sculpt is pretty solid here. I feel like his ears stick out a little more like in the show, so this kind of works out. The details, if you look closely, the details in the shirt, you could see like a fabric. I think they did a pretty good job overall. His belt looks solid. You know, he's got his gun. We got his holster. Details look pretty good here. You can't pull that gun out. So he's got a hole in the back, but you can't really put anything back here. He doesn't come with much. This is the plastic that it comes with. He has just two fists included, and there's the wing that we're going to add on at the end. Overall, I think this is a pretty good figure. I mean, his articulation is pretty good, and like I said, guys, I'm not an expert. You know, he can make T pose. For you cyberpunk fans, you know, this looks familiar. <laughs> He's got the knee pads here. Great detail. Thigh swivel right here. And he's got the stomach crunch back and forth. Overall, I think they did a pretty solid job with this guy. All right, guys. And just for fun, this is how he looks with the Captain Shield. Yeah, he's a, he's a great looking figure. I'm a fan. 
And here's another pose just for fun. All right, I'm not sure I'd probably done this in the beginning, but here's a better look at Loki outside of the package. Well, inside still the mold. I think it looks great. And it looks like right here, when you take out the back part, there's the circle part that you can use. So, great. All right, before we take him out, guys, let's take a look at all the build a figure pieces. He has the backpack, which you could put this guy here. Comes with a little swirly stand. And it comes with the bottom base. That's cool. As far as the figure himself, I think there's a really nice likeliness to Tom Hiddleston here. I think the hair looks okay. This jacket is like a rubbery material. Doesn't look like there's too much details in there. Oh, actually there is. It looks like there is a gun holsters. Yeah, it looks like there's holsters, but they're not colored, interestingly enough. The tie is a bit of a rubber material. Looks like there is a crunch in the stomach, so there is that. Head articulation, left, right, down, up. Can he do the T-pose? Yes, he can. Slightly. Let's see, I don't want to chance it and break it. Yep, yeah, there you go. In the back, looks like variant. Looks like his jacket is like separated. You can separate it if you really tried, but it doesn't look like it's connected. Legs, you know, there's his belt, like good detail here. He's got, you know, slim pants on. <laughs> Looks like he has double jointed knees. Let's see, can he kick his butt? No, he cannot. He can do a ballet kick, a <laughs> ballet pose. <laughs> he can turn his hips left and right. He's dancing. Overall, I think the figure is fine. You know, there's no accessories that comes with them. It's just him in the jacket. So very excited to see how this show goes. All right, so here he is in the plastic, kind of outside. It looks like his cape is in the back. Looks like the cape is in the back piece. It sticks out, it's kind of weird, but interesting. Kind of reminds me of like a shower curtain material. <laughs> but comes with, uh, looks like he comes with two fists. And here are the parts for the build a figure. Let's take him out. How are we gonna do this? Legs out first. Oh my god! Is that how you do this? Okay. It looks like you can. So I'm taking a peek, taking a peek at the back. It looks like you can take this out, take off this cape. It is pretty loose. Uh, the figure himself, you know just looks like a white vision. Like there is some off-white color here. Uh, it looks like the shin guards, the bracers, and the hips, it looks like there's a little bit of off-white here, like yellowish. He's got the blue in the face, the little blue dot where the mind stone should be. His eyes, it looks like there's a little bit of a white paint on it, you can see that. Details on his head look great, looks look just like vision if you could tell on here you can see the scaling on the armor and it looks like it follows throughout the whole body so overall and like I said this material is like it looks like an old dirty shower curtain like I'm not even kidding it's like a it's definitely like the plastic material I mean, it looks all right I mean I think for this figure it looks great he has the open hands here I didn't do it it looks fantastic. So, T pose. Let's try to do the T pose. Can you? I don't want to. Oh, okay. Never mind. You can T pose. Bit of a T pose here. Looks like there is a double jointed elbow. Head up. Can't look down too much. Legs. I mean, there's the chest. He's got the cruncher here. Goes far back and far and forward. He's got the twistable hips. Rotatable thighs looks like he has the double jointed knees as well cannot quite kick his own butt you can get him in flying motions and some cool poses i believe so not sure what it is about his character but it feels like he could be a little more dynamic with his poses maybe it's because he's a little more a little more basic but he kind of he he's kind of similar to bucky like Bucky doesn't have a lot going on as far as like, but this might be getting in the way for some poses, but I mean, I think you can get him into poses here. 
He looks, I like, I like his figure a lot, actually. He kind of looks like a statue to me. Alright guys, last but not least, we got Wanda. And I think, at a glance, this might be my favorite figure out of the group. Before we take her out, there are her translucent hands. See that? And there is the last piece of the wing. Let's take that out. At a glance, this figure is great. There's a lot of, a lot of minor detail, like her hair flow. I feel like looks amazing. You know the head sculpt. I think the likeliness to uh, Wanda looks fantastic. I like the crown piece. It looks like it's like a bit of a soft rubber. The the detail on the dress looks great. If you look real close, you can see you can see the detail here. She has the stomach crunch. Her hands look a little crazy, but those are like the those are like the hand motions she makes in the movies and the shows. So I think from the back looks great. You know, this is like a rubbery piece, similar to Baron Zemo's jacket, and it's also similar to Loki's material. So it's like a thick plastic rubber. Great detail on the legs. Looks like she's got. Looks like the stripe goes down all the way to the boots. As far as articulation on the ankles, that's like the farthest it can go. It can go up quite a bit. Can she T-pose? Let's see. Yeah, she can T-pose. Head is kind of blocked a little bit as far as movement goes with the hair piece because it is like a thick plastic. There's a thigh rotation. Looks like you can rotate her whole body here. There's no waist part, but you know, top and the bottom half. Knee articulation goes, it looks like there is a double joint, is there? Yeah, there is. It's hard to, it's kind of hard to move it, but yeah, it does look like there's a double knee joint here. Overall though, let's pose them up. I'm a fan of this one. All right guys, before we pose them up, here are all the parts together-ish. So there's the backpack. There's uh, the bird, whatever his name is. If you know his name, leave it in the comments below. We got the stand over here. But uh, yeah, let's put this bad boy together and complete the Falcon. Stip, stop, stip, stop, stip, stop. Wow, guys. <laughs> oh, man. So I just put it on, it's a little loose, you know, so you can't really mess around with it too much, but look, look at this guys. This completes it for sure, like, wow, there's a lot of clipping here, it looks like there's a lot of stuff you can do as far as posing it goes, but I think he looks best when you have this open. Let's mess around with these guys, let's pose them up, and we'll take a look at them. All right, guys, I gotta say, man, I am a huge fan of this wave, man. It is killer, guys. Grade A, 100%. But, you know, I'm a little biased here, guys. I love the Disney Plus episodes of, you know, Falcon and Winter Soldier. You know, WandaVision was okay, but I feel like the figures look great. You know, Loki, I mean, we haven't seen it yet, but that's coming up. But overall, guys, you know, like I said before, and, you know, I am not really good at posing. This took me a minute to, you know, just get everyone looking decent, you know. Um, but let's take let's take a quick peek at everyone, right? So here we go. Here we go again with uh, Loki. You know, I just had him looking uh, a little sly here. You know, he is the, he's the god of mischief. <laughs> But, you know, great figure overall, right? Next up, you know, here we go with Vision. Vision looks fantastic. And like I said, you know, that cape, the cape is interesting. But it's a good choice. I think it works for this figure. But I really like him. Here we go with Wanda Maximoff. This is a great figure overall. I'm not sure if this one's my favorite or not. I, I just like it. I think she's great. All right, next up, we got the US agent, John Walker. Fantastic figure. I have him here on the stand. 
doesn't have the shield on because you know cap is wearing it but i really like this figure you know i feel like he's he's definitely a lot bulkier than bucky bucky feels like a skinny figure compared to this guy but you know he is now a super soldier all right here we go with the winter soldier i got him posed you know facing sideways so he is you know in a fighting stance but now it looks a little thin there his character like i said you know feels a little bit skinnier than john walker over here but you know i i'm not going to complain like i think the details on the winter soldier look fantastic i really love the arm here the white wolf he looks great and here we go with baron zemo look at that you know he's very he's a very basic character or basic figure but you know i like it i like the long trench coat i like the accessory the book you know i just have him pointing at something but you know I, i'm overall i like him last but not least captain falcon himself or should i say captain america this is a fantastic figure completed with the full set of wings here. I love this figure. This looks fantastic. You know, the wings can, you know, they can bend forward. I will say though that it is a little loose. Like, you know, the, the wings are a little delicate. You know, you can't really swoosh them around. Like if you wanted to play with it and like fly with them, like the backpack piece, is definitely a little loose and this part right here whatever his name is guys like this part where it connects like back here that's really hard to put in at least mine was i'm not sure if you know your miles may vary with that but overall like this was a little bit of a challenge to put in there but you know the stand like it looks great you know it holds him up you have to bend his legs a little bit unless you want him standing straight you have to bend the legs but i think with a flying motion you know i think it makes more sense to have him you know bend his legs a little bit but man what a fantastic wave guys i i'm honestly kind of speechless with this this looks so good you know i i broke my rule here guys you know, I told myself I wasn't going to open any of my figures until I moved into my next place, which is next week, actually. So I'm going to be boxing these guys up again, but I had to, I had to open these up. You know, I wanted to show these off to you guys and I wanted to just play with them for a little bit. Not going to lie, guys. I, I couldn't resist opening these, you know, ever since I opened Cap, I figured, you know what, let's open the rest of these guys, you know, since we got them, let's take advantage of that and this is a great collection, guys. This is a great set of figures. I have no qualms with any of these. You know, I'm, I'm a big fan of all these. Maybe Bucky, maybe there could be, maybe Bucky's figure could be a little bit better. Maybe they could have added an accessory with these two, but I think everyone else is great. You know, maybe they could have added a shield with uh, US Agent, but I mean, that's just being nitpicky at this point. I think overall, this is a great wave you know i gotta i gotta really thank that guy at target for hooking it up grabbing the stuff in the back you know some people were pushing back when i initially requested but you know i'm not gonna complain guys you know if you if you can get your hands on them great you know do not fight with target employees if they won't go in the back for you you know just try again another day maybe go to a different target maybe talk to a different person if you're really trying to get it but these are going to be coming out soon anyway you guys that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed my first real attempt at a review, even though it was poorly done, <laughs> in my opinion. But anyway, that's going to be it for this episode, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed everything you saw today. Let me know which one was your favorite character in the comments below. And subscribe if you guys want to see more. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.